Greg here from Sticky Wicked Designs. We're going to take a look at using the guestbook module in CMS Made Simple. Uh, the versions that we are dealing with today are for CMSMS, it's version 1.8.2, Tolier. And for the guestbook module, we'll just pull it up and take a quick look here. We are using version 1.3.0. Okay, so uh, this is assuming that you've got Guestbook installed and you're all up and running. Uh, so the first thing is where you're going to find the Guestbook in order to do some edits, uh, to approve postings, stuff like that. Um, so the Guestbook can be found under Content, Guestbook. And when we're taking over there right now, we'll see a listing, an entry listed on this particular one, marked as inactive, as we can tell by the red X under the active column. Uh, it gives us uh, an overview of some of the details of that particular posting. First thing is if we wanted to actually make this one active, we'll take a look at the, um, the actual page, the default display for the guestbook on this uh, particular uh, development site. So right now there are no listings um, posted for display. There's a default message that I've entered into the um, new uh, entry form template. And then there's a little button for it. Um, I have this particular one hooked in with the CAPTCHA module, as you can see. So I'm gonna type in one for myself. We can leave uh, fields blank if we choose. Just get a few more details in here. That character count. So if I start. Get a few things in. Now we get to the CAPTCHA, get my info there, and click insert. Great, it automatically comes up with a thank you. The message will appear after it's validated by administrator. And a great grammar there. We'll see about correcting that uh, on my own. And when I pop back in here, if I go to the CMS main page, Okay, no warning. So that's one thing that they haven't worked into it just yet. Uh, with some of the modules, it would actually, um, they'd set it up. So if there's a news article waiting to be posted, there's a little warning that appears here. Uh, be nice to see that come out with uh, the guestbook module as well. Um, so I'm going to go back to the guestbook itself. Okay, and we can see here is my test post that I just did. If I just click on that, I get an alert. Uh, if we really want to activate this message, I'm going to say OK. Now if we come back to the guestbook page, I'm just going to get it to reload. And now we see that message shows up with a whole bunch of other information as well. Uh, all of the um, elements that are being displayed here can be controlled within the template. Uh, that's typically something um, for a developer and not uh, for editors themselves. So this uh, ideally would already be looked after in your installation. So in addition to the submissions uh, that come in via the form, we could also manually enter in a new entry. So at the bottom here, I've got add guestbook entry. I can assign it to a particular guestbook if I have more than one. And put in the sender's name.
the date we could put an override if we wanted to post it for uh, backdate it like if it's one that you've manually received uh, via email and you want to enter them in yourself um, by all means go for it and Okay, we can apply some formatting um, just because I've got that enabled on this particular one. And if I hit submit, because I'm manually entering it in, it automatically approves it. So again, if I come back to this page, it's giving us account message one to three of three, um, and it's listing them in the order of most recent. Uh, the reason this one got indented is because I used a paragraph tag. It wasn't just what was input from um, from the form from the submission form. Uh, I actually applied some formatting within the editor because I was uh, entering this one from the back end. And that is it for editors using the guestbook and managing your guestbook entries. Okay, we'll see you next time.